G'day subscribers. Today it's open and new accessory time on Jive Talking Garage, your Jules Knight. So we've got some pretty good Jive Talkers uh, at Jive Talking Garage. Um, so groups on Facebook. Uh, so there's about 1,800 at the moment on Facebook uh, wanting to know what crazy things that we're doing on a daily basis at the Jive Talking Garage. And we've got another 250 or so people, 300 people, whatever it is, at YouTube. But we've got probably a real small handful of really dedicated folks, as I'm just giving Jasper a bit of a, a pat, one of our shop dogs, um, who uh, are always posting, always commenting, putting things up, being involved, um, having interesting to, things to say and show and whatever, so that's great. But we also have, um, spreading out as an Australian group, we've got people in Delaware, um, Germany, uh, and also we have a UK correspondent called Andy. Now, Andy lives, um, let's just say London. London's as good as any. But um, Andy reached out to me and said, look, I know that you love accessories and... Have you seen this on the UK um, eBay? And I said, no, I've never seen it before. Andy has sent it to me. God bless his little cotton socks. So let's just um, let's just open up this international package. And thank you, Andy. It's a real pleasure having um, you and people like you on um, on Jive Talking Garage. We actually don't know how blessed we are. To be quite truthful. Um, we would definitely not have gotten our um, our FJ finished if it wasn't for the kindness of um, of our group. Okay, so just made some little incisions into it, but um, needless to say, this I've, I've, you could say I haven't seen this accessory before, and when I saw the pictures of it, I thought, how good is that? Okay, so a little bit out of the box, but that's okay. So that's here. Um, and how about, how about, now I'll give you a little hint, a tip, and it's not about the accessory. When my, when my dad, Julius, was alive, he always had a blade nearby. <laughs> and I'm not talking about for self-defense reasons. He used it for opening parcels, trimming around grass that he couldn't get with the whippersnipper or the ride-on mower or anything and he'd have it wrapped either in a little knife knife sheath or wrapped around masking tape or whatever but my old boy always had a blade nearby okay so i'm um, just doing a little bit of unraveling oh this is so cool bit of bubble wrap and and here we go a life-saving car antenna warning light Life-saving car antenna warning light. How cool is that? So let's just gonna open the pack. Oh, look at that. How good is that? I think that is just brilliant. I think that's brilliant. So I think there's a canister here for um, maybe a battery. Getting a little bit of unscrew here happening. How good's that? So it's got a little tiny light inside, a little light inside. So you've got clear one side, so, as in white, so it's translucent light, and you've got the uh, the uh, the red lens on the other side. I so like that. So I think the I, I think the uh, purpose of the exercise is behind it that. If you have a flat tire or something, and this uh, this could be a flasher, moves back and forward. So yeah, okay. So I'll have to figure out how the uh, how to open the little canister. I think it's I think it's here. Um, I'll have to figure out how the little canister works to open that up so that you can put whatever batteries are in there. But I think it's a case of at night you have a flat tire, you um, put this on your aerial, you turn it on, and it sends out a little. A uh, blinking signal to any cars that are behind you, a little flashing red light, but I, I think that is great. Andy, you are a, well, we always knew you were a champion, 
but you've gone over and above. Uh, so that is just absolutely brilliant, all the way from the UK. Battery operator with two C-cell batteries, visible for miles, miles, not kilometres, miles. Fits easy on an antenna, a red flashing light. So there you go. The life you save may be your own. The life you save may be your own. How cool is that? I'm, I'm loving that. The more I look at it, the more I love it. And they, they've got a, they've got a little picture there of a car, on a jack. Oh, and the most important thing is, like everything in the seventies and the sixties, made in Hong Kong. <laughs> you knew it was good if it was made in Hong Kong. <laughs> anyway, look, I think that's a terrific gadget. Very kitschy. I love it. I think it's wonderful. A big shout out to Andy. Thank you so much. I am absolutely thrilled. You are so kind to me. I don't deserve it. We're surrounded by people such as Dan the Welder and Tristan and the Brains Trust and the Troncolator. It's just terrific. And I, and I need to also mention Sean the Builder too because Sean, he did profile all my boards. I know we've got the old boards in there at the moment, but when I have it nice, I'll you be using Shawnee's boards. But anyway, folks, the red flashing antenna light. You got to be happy. You got to go home happy with that, don't you? You absolutely got to. I mean, that's just that's beyond brilliant. And you only find this stuff at Jive Talking Garage. So don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. But more importantly, enjoy your Holden, or in Andy's case, your Voxel. <laughs>